Welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat uh, on the 10th of February. Uh, Drager04 took this elf deck to 4-0 in the daily event. And therefore we are gonna playtest his elf deck. The only change I made is that I didn't have three Lys Alana Bowmasters, so I am playing three Scattershot Archers and one Bowmaster in the sideboard. And here's our website, mtgostrat.com. Be sure to visit that. Here are four articles I've written about Pauper. Uh, all right. Play, casual play, tournament practice. Uh, we don't want to play with my wish list, because that will be bad. We are playing elves. Th this is a stupid bug. Okay, now we can have it. Right, it's not standard, it's pauper. And it's a best two out of three. So, I wonder if I, I had an old elf deck, I wonder if I ever made a sideboard plan for it. Nope, didn't. So I'll copy my, this is my template for a sideboard plan. I'll copy that and make a over elves plan. So we have an opponent, 99 mana problems. That's a pretty good name. And we like to play first. There's some sort of lag. Uh, I guess that works. So I don't want to mulligan. There are some interesting card choices in this deck. Uh, we'll see them as they come up. Uh, we'll play... We'll start out with the Nettle Sentinel actually to do as much damage as possible. Uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't write the, the thing about me doing a video. Um, we'll try again. Mm, all right. I am about to delete this video, but not yet. Give it one more chance. Use this. Yes, I would like to play first. And uh, obviously, uh, Nettle Sentinel is a pretty good first turn play because people just quit and run. So let's try that again. Here we, we need the Mana Elf, I guess. Because the Queer Ranger has no big effect the turn that he that we have land to play. So right now we are playing the mana elf, I guess. Uh, which will be especially useful if we find something blue. Because our blue cards are our card draw spells that we love a lot. So we still don't absolutely need to play uh, Visionary. We can go for, uh, oh I mean the, the Queer Ranger. Um, but we are gonna use all our mana. Only the turn we can't play a land drop, then Queer on becomes powerful. All right, so here we go. Uh, Visionary. We should probably play Queer on before Sentinel because... Okay, counter that with Arcane Denial of all spells. That leaves me wanting to play a Nettle Sentinel. And a Queer Ranger. All 
always yes, always yield. And we're in business, and we get to draw a card. It's so friendly. Oh yes, I do. Choose a number card. We get to draw two cards. That's just broken. Though forests are not what we want. Oh my! We are gonna get milled. And milling is probably not the way to defeat the elves. There is our distant melody. That's fairly broken right now, actually. So we're gonna play distant melody, 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 and attack with the others. Yes. So they attack. And we draw four cards and four four cards for three mana for a uh, three cards for four mana is really good. Four cards for four mana is just bonkers. And I have to choose a creature type. That's hey, what do you think it is? Let's not take elk. Uh, okay, that was a pretty good draw. I am casting Arbelf. I'm tapping those guys and I'm done. And I'm gonna help milling myself with my distant melodies. He has green mana, what for? For urban burgeoning. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, no, I don't know why. Um, well, maybe I should just attack with everything and then attack with everything and be done with this. Seems reasonable. He should have a lot of movement space, but he, we haven't seen it yet. So we should probably actually be careful with uh, Distant Melody here. Uh, I still want to play the missionary, Visionary before the Ranger, because we don't need mana. I have a little lag. That's why I seem retarded clicking a lot. So there's an elf, but I think he might be stacking up on moments pieces now. And uh, Burstow Rangers. And uh, done. No. We are gonna use them, adding green mana, tapping that guy and that guy. Playing an elf. Uh, green mana tapping that guy and that guy. And green mana tapping that guy and that guy. Playing the Sylvan Ranger. Uh, is it May? So we're not gonna search them. I guess... Okay, I can't resist searching. Let's get the island once and for all. So, I'm done. I'm not playing Distant Melody. Because it won't make any difference. Uh, either he can fog me for the rest of the game, or he can't. But I won't help him with the distant melody. There is a transmute into 
This is Razor. Uh, okay, so he's not gonna fog me and he's just dead. Wow, didn't he? Okay, oh well. I'm attacking them. Here they come, the elves! Okay, there was a fog. I knew it! Goddamn fog! Well, I could find it uh, rather amusing to have a Huntmaster in place, so I'm gonna have that. But, uh, yeah. If he mills out the elf deck, I'm impressed. I would be more scared by a moment's peace, of course, as fog is a one-time effect. Where a moment's peace is a two-time effect. I didn't even see that he had mana, but of course, urban burgeoning did it. Oh, I am at... I might get milled out here. I'm at 25 cards. Or I might win because I chose not to play Distant Melody. And now Distant Melody looks really dangerous. This elf deck should have like a counter spell. Like Arcane Denial. Can somebody look into this please? I think I played uh, I played casual games with this deck, or with a deck similar like this. Uh, I played just just lone duels in the. Yes, I played lone duels for three three. So now I am playing a real match for the first time. You stays mill. This is my very first match with Elves. Well, I cast F6 here because... Um, yeah. Because there's not much I can do. He can moments peace me to death or not. Where's the wisdom? I am at 20 cards. 19 cards. And now I'm at 15, so I'm gonna get milled. This is actually pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get milled. <laughs> okay, uh, I wonder if he has the counter spell. Uh, got to play the green guy to untap the nettle sentinels. Uh, always yes to an extra elf, always yield. And let's see, maybe this is what the mob justice is here for. So we're gonna attack to tap him out. This is a lot of elves. Here they come. The Huntmaster randomly stays at home. Uh, prevent all combat damage. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> you gain one life. I've never heard of that card. <laughs> that's just, that's just so broken. But. I can still win because he got. I didn't attack with his tree. Uh, but he's saved mana for a counter spell. So, but let's follow this to its uh, its conclusion. Uh, I'm playing Silver Ranger here, which gives me an extra creature. So now I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have enough creatures. So here we go. 
and I am not getting the land. Uh, I'm adding red mana by tapping these two guys. Uh, I am randomly untapping. Hello. Oh, he has summoning sickness. Um, yeah, I'm adding a green mana, tapping these guys. And more Biastis. Oh, do I need one more mana? Oh, it's only two. I thought it was four. Oh, but he's sure to have the counter spell. Right. And the elf deck is being milled to death. That's just pretty interesting. So what's in the sideboard against mill decks? This is the the danger of training in the tournament practice room because you run into decks that you know don't work. Uh, but it works against this deck, and I have nothing in the sideboard for a mill deck. So uh, my big play was the, the mob justice. So I was too slow against the mill deck. I still have four cards. And he still has a fog effect, I guess. And this is probably the last fog he needs. I'm mindlessly swinging in. Oh, it's even in the graveyard. Uh, so we'll move on to the second game. Uh, and there is nothing in the sideboard for us. So let's see if we can overrun him this time, or if he will be able to stop us again. He is making some changes. Maybe he's boarding in for Delver Secrets and for... Uh, Spy Golems? No, I don't think so. And I could easily overwhelm that with all these elves. I wonder what Draeger 04 ran into uh, when he won this. And uh, notice the uh, blue greens storm deck, the same that beat me in my last daily. It's there as well, doing 4 0 again. And here's a Delver deck with Hallemar Depths and four daisies. Uh, Raging Flump plays Familiar Storm to 4-0. Okay, we're back. Uh, yes, I'd like to play first. Uh, what? Okay, I can still get mana from the double Birch Law Rangers. So, yeah, and the combo with Nettle Sentinel there is pretty neat as well. So let's overwhelm the evil mill deck with your friendly neighborhood elves. Hmm. Priest of Titania seems pretty good for some mana. Always yes, always yield. And we're off to the races. 
So what do we do next turn? We played Burslo Ranger, Burslo Ranger, Huntmaster. That sounds good. So maybe we even attack. Okay, so Burslow Ranger cost face down, that's interesting. Do you ever do that with your Burslow Rangers? Let me know what you think. Is that a good play? Uh, I will probably counter this Huntmaster or not. And I can't cast another, I can cast another elf. Ah, stop. Oh, oh too fast. <laughs> Damn! Being sloppy again. Not good. There's Jace's Erasure, but I think it's too late. I'm not sure. But I will push hard now. And play... And play Priest of Titania. Uh, always yes. Always yeah, always yes, always yield. And there's the priest, the visionary. And the priest. And the Arbor Elf. Well, that was a fairly big turn for us. <laughs> and now we are attacking. Any random elf on the battlefield charge. Oh. You guys, 7 points. Is it 16 next turn? If not, it's pretty close to it. I don't think we will get milled out this time, but he can be in a position to fog, 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 fog. But he's under a lot of pressure now. Mmm, you tricky combo guy. Well, I'm F6ing in fear. Forty-five cards. Urban burgeoning. And there is obviously something evil going on. And I can't cast my distant melody. But I couldn't really sideboard it out either. Maybe I should have just sideboarded it out for more elves. I do have scattershot archer and stuff, but uh, yeah, one twos. Uh, I don't know, it's doing nothing good here, Distant Melody. I, I don't, I can't really cast it. Um, I don't know what I could have brought in either. Uh, so a normal fog. He still needs to draw more cards. So in the end, we will crush him. A uh, very observant. Uh, audience here or someone in the audience who is very observant could see that I actually have two foil distant melodies and two normal and that's a deadly sin if you play in a tournament. You should always have uh, cards that look the same so the opponent can't figure anything out. If he sees one card and then another then he can gain information that he shouldn't have. So if you play like for example your basic land should all be the same. Well, he's doing quite a good job of turbofogging us. I only have him at 9. I don't want to see respite here.
double erasure. Okay, let's check that I own it. Um, got to get me some erasures. They seem like fun. I could irritate you with a mill video. That's not very spiky, is it? Here they come. And we know it's gonna fail. Though he only has two cards left. Now it's double moments piece in the graveyard. And I am starting to despair a little. We're at 35 cards. He shouldn't be able to mill more like 5 or 6 each turn. So we should have 4, 5, 6. Yeah, one more moment's piece and we are probably done for. Though I am not basing that out of any scientific fact, but just my gut feeling. But the elves, they just keep coming. They are like the IRS. Here they go. Oh, Priest of Titania 2. Charge! This must be the most entertaining match in Magic ever. Retarded Elf deck against the Retarded Mill deck. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Draeger 04. Sorry, Eustace. I didn't mean that. But this is not the best form of Magic I know. But I'm the guy playing the Elf deck, so I should blame myself. And here's a serious mill. 4 6. And the fall of Rivendell is close. Elrond will be milled out into the sea, and the elves will leave our shores forever. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm actually uh, I'm in really serious trouble here. I am gonna play the Timberwatch shelf because um, I might need extra damage uh, when he if he has a respite. But I don't have many hits left. This is the last moments piece in his graveyard. He managed to set up his defenses pretty quickly, but this timber watch should negate one respite in himself as he will cause loads of extra damage. Now, well, basically, as much as a respite. But maybe I should attack only with nine power here, actually, because of respite. Now, well, that might be an idea. Because I don't know what the next fog effect will be. So yeah, and that will look like I keep guys back for uh, uh, massive raid or whatever it was called, mob justice. Mm. You're thinking twice. I'm at 21 cards. 21 cards and counting. Uh, that's enough mana for respite. Hmm. I'm actually going to attack only with two creatures here. And then uh, use the Timberwatch. Can he have one summon or something like that? It seems pointless. But that will hurt respite a lot. So here is an attack by two Burslow Rangers. Ah, possibly being too clever. Echoing truth. Oh, okay. They should not be two of the same kind. So, we are timber watching, and here comes the fog. Here comes the fog. Mm. 
Mm, the tension is enormous. Ah, he's tapping mana. That's not good. And he cast moments peace, and that means that he has an extra fog now. And if we have been milled to death. So uh, Draeger 04 should be very happy that he didn't run into a mill deck when playing his Elf Brew to 4 0 in the daily, which is pretty impressive. I'm impressed. There is always people playing elves. And as I said before, even today in another video, that elves hang around in the tournament practice room, but they never make it in the dailies. And here is Draeger 04 getting a 4 0. I am discarding a card. Uh, I get rid of a distant melody. Doesn't look like a winning play right now. Uh, okay, the new tactic is to attack with these three guys randomly. And then. Pump the Burslow Ranger. And be done. I'm on f I have 15 cards left in my library. And that will not be enough by far. I think we will lose 0 to 2 against the mill deck with our elf deck. No, he ran out of fogs. My god. I didn't expect that. Okay, we are 1 to 1 with elves against mill in this epic pauper beatdown. Showdown, I mean. Of these tier 4 decks. These decks are obviously not tier 4, as Draeger could do 4-0, but I don't see a mill deck doing 4-0 anytime soon. So, here we actually have a crap hand, but with Nettle Sentinel it still works. Nettle Sentinel, Birchlow Ranger, pretty good combo. Hmm. Birchlow Ranger will be two ticks soon when the Elves deck pick up. So stock them up now, people, while you still can. The Nettle Sentinel! Pretty good card. And the most expensive card in Stompy. Urban Burgeoning, that Classic 15th pick from Return to Ravnica drafts. Okay, uh, so I play the Burtlow Ranger. Uh, yes. And then I tap these guys for a green mana. And play another Nettle Sentinel. And then I can always, yes, always yield. And untap him, and I actually have one mana left. But I don't have anyone that costs one mana to cast. So I am attacking with the first Nettle Sentinel. Uh, next turn I will try to get the Priest of Titania into play then. Uh, model the mixture for Jace's erasure. Oh, I didn't write it. I didn't never hit return on the GG. Um, Priest of Titania seems like a pretty good idea here. And we have an always yes, always yield. So the priest is out. Uh, and we'll uh, we like to do five damage instead of trying to tap for mana, and we'll play the rest of the dudes next turn. Hmm. 
maybe I could have played that turn better, I'm not super sure. But right now the Priest of Titania will allow me to em empty my hand, I guess. Jace's Erasure. And let the fogging begin. Here's Elvish Visionary. See if he picks up a land. Uh, no, he doesn't. Priest of Titania into Huntmaster. And we'll just smack. Oh, we have a mana left. So we'll add another mana from these two. And for two mana for a second priest. And then we should have tapped him for the Nettle Sentinels for mana, of course, as they untap. Ah, oh, always. Yes. Alright, that could have been better. But now at least I attack. And then I can get... Uh, I can get the mana there from there. So I'm getting a green mana by untapping these guys. Casting Burst Slow Ranger. Which gives me more guys. And then I have two mana to cast. Ah, oh, it's not enough. Never mind. Cast Think Twice. Looking for those fogs. Uh, yeah, now I will have practically unending mana and I wonder if I want to do a distant melody but it doesn't look like it does it doesn't look like I need it all that urban burgeoning the city is taking over or what what does burgeoning mean, actually? It does mean uh, perhaps the, the opposite, that the city has been lost. Uh, okay, so we attack with high power guys. So, two, four, five, this is eight. Yes. I call your fog. Yeah, I called it correctly. I'm Priest of Titania for <laughs> loads and loads of mana. Why isn't it just letting me pass priority? Okay, now I'm done at least. So I'll just F6. He has only two cards in hand, so not sure he can fog all day. And I'm not gonna use Distant Melody. I was so sure I was going to lose last uh, last game, but I pulled through, and now we have an exciting race. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this magic like you wanted it to be? Oh no, my distant melody! Sorry, I should not be sarcastic, that makes for a really lousy video. I should be positive and think about how elf decks beat mill decks. And the answer to that is that they beat them by beating down uh, 
Uh, what's going on? Okay, we are getting piracy charmed. And I will beat down with the Huntmaster and the Nettle Sentinel. Like that. Because I have Timberwatch. And I'm Timberwatching that guy. And I'm pretty much down here. And here's the fog. And it's a moment's piece. So one moment's piece in the graveyard. Lots of frustration ahead. We are at 40 cards in our library. And it's getting late in Sweden. Uh, this has been a very productive day. Please let me know if there is a video you want to see. Please let me know that uh, if and uh, if and that you like the videos. Uh, please let me know. Uh, uh, please make comments. I really appreciate that. Comments are so much fun. So if you're watching this and like it, make a comment. If you're watching this and hating it, make a comment. If there is some pop deck you want to see played, let me know. I, uh, after the banning of Storm, I now have all the relevant cards, I think, except Prohibits. But that's the only one. So I think I can make uh, any deck. And uh, yeah. So let me know what you think. Any feedback is welcome. Though. That requires that you heard it 40 minutes in an Elves vs. Mill video. I don't expect this to be the greatest hit among my videos. Uh, okay, attacking with three different random Elves. And who gets the extra power? It's Visionary. Uh, he actually has two moments piece in his graveyard. And now there are only one. But he hasn't really got any mill going. I used to have uh, that Elvish Lyrist guy in my elf sideboard to destroy enchantments. He's an elf that you can sacrifice to destroy enchantments. And I think I would have liked him in this matchup. But I th also think that Draeger04 knows a lot more about playing Elves than I do. As I am playing my first best out of three match with Elves. And running into Mill. And harassing you with this video of this event. <laughs> uh, yeah, Elvish Visionary is 15-15 now. That's pretty big. And there is the moon's piece. There's two cards in hand. So he's definitely not safe. Uh, he cycles Lonely Sandbar, causing us to mill a card. We are down to 33. And there goes Mob Justice. That's a shame. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised I haven't seen Vivi section anymore. There are three Vivi sections in the deck and I wish I could ask Draeger for why he isn't just playing uh, Deep Analysis. There is probably a reason and it might be a financial reason because Deep Analysis is like two ticks now. But uh, yeah, I would play Deep Analysis. But yeah, it's a section and that's interesting. I had to buy them. They were a half cent each. Now I have three Wivy sections. I'd never seen the card before I saw his list. There's a lot of fogging going on, but there's not so much milling going on. He killed the priest of Titania. What's the point of that? He never hurt anyone, did he? But I have one more in play, and one in hand. Okay. So, what else? Two cards in hand, 
There's a moment's peace in the graveyard. I have 31 cards. The, uh, and there are actually two people watching this. Sigyn I know from uh, another video. I th I to we talked a bit. I have no idea who Landstrider is. So, how will the elves do against the Milky? Is he uh, delaying now because he's thinking? Does this mean that he doesn't have the fog? But he has one fog, so or maybe he's thinking in advance. Who knows? This might be a record long video. Oh, there, there's probably a longer video. Some blue black control deck thing. I thought elves would be fast and furious, and there is distant melody. Okay, so uh, let's attack with some elves. Uh, like these three elves. That's moment space. We are at 30 cards. He is at 12 lives. We are now at 29 cards. He cycles Tranquil Ticket. He's casting Words of Wisdom. That costs us a lot of cards actually. Uh, 3. So we are now at 25. And he's transmuting Muddle the Mixture for Moon's Peace. And he has two lands that he untap. So I guess that means we... will get fogged. Like a bad Agatha Christie movie. We are sending in these three elves. And if I don't see a fog now, I'm gonna pump them with Timber Watch. Here we go! Pumping! And there's a moment's piece. Yeah, that was the one he fetched with Muddle Mixture. He now has two moment pieces. Uh, one moment piece in the graveyard. And three cards in hand. And I have 23 cards in my library. These are the facts you must consider if you want to know who is going to win this. And I think I will be milled out, but I thought that last game too and I wasn't milled out. So there is no telling how this will end. I have absolutely no tricks, uh, as he has milled away my mob justice. Uh, so I will attack with some elves. And here we go. We have uh, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, that's not, that's not correct. 12. 12 power. And that didn't work. We need a new plan. Though it was... Uh, that probably means he doesn't have a respite either. Because I gave him an opening to play respite there. So, is there a fog in your hand, Eustace, or not? And the sad thing is that it makes no difference that... If I think he has it or not, he either has it or he doesn't have it. But I'm gonna smash him and see what happens. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, but I do have plenty of mana. Uh, maybe I should prepare for that in some way. Okay, how much mana do I have? 
four. Oh, I can't untap them. So I'm saving, I'm sacrificing eight permanent. And that is probably four, five, six, seven, eight. That was interesting. Well, yeah, that's maybe that was why he killed my uh, priest of Titania. Oh, I am gonna attack him for that. One, two, three, four, five elves, six elves charging in, and Timberwatch is enough to finish this. And he pumps, he pumps, he pumps the visionary. So fade away made no difference. And he's out of fogs. And there is a fantastic victory for the... There are so many options of cards to play in the elf deck, and actually when I sat down building the elf deck earlier uh, <laughs> I had to tune it from 120 cards. Um, so that was interesting. Uh, well, thank you for watching. Uh, Magic Gathering Strat playing Elves vs. Mill. And I think Ulamog. Ulamog seems nice, and Ulamog is great in his stalls, and Ulamog should, if he is in the deck at all, be in the sideboard. But he is awfully a lot of a win more card. If the elf deck can produce 8 mana quickly, it's probably already winning. So it doesn't need Ulamog. And that's often the problem with Ulamog in every deck, especially in Isat Cloudpost. There are some Cloudpost decks that I feel need Ulamog, but Isat definitely doesn't need it. And that was a short rant about Ulamog's Crusher. Thank you for watching. See you later.